Hi everyone, I'm back and this is another weekly basket for December 8th to 14th and I just want to dive right into the stuff that I will be using this week. Moisturizer would be my simple. I'm actually putting a little extra because the, I, I think I have really long days and I know my face will need hydration. I pulled off a primer, this Tarte Recreate Silicone Free Primer. I want to try it. I will be taking the Benefit Poreless and my Hyaluristic, um Face Silk with me, but I was thinking I will have one of these as backup because those are actually really small samples. And then this Pixie Flawless and Poreless I got in an Ipsy bag um, with me as primer. Foundation wise, we have a little combination here. I am trying to finish up my MAC Pro Longwear. And I also have my Wet n Wild Cover All Cream Foundation in medium tan. I have this. This is almost finishing. And I pulled out my Locket um, Cad Von D. I have only Pro Longwear right now with um, on my face. And for powders, I actually have three. My Physicians Formula is here. It's actually giving me a little problems to get into the rim of it. So... I'm trying so I can use it out, but it might end up in the empties with some of that. I have my Dream Matte Powder that I'm going to actually put in my bag to go with me to work. And then I want to try this Aziza's Cream to Powder um, Foundation that is really not cream to powder, it's just powder. <laughs> and it's just like, it looks like it's very similar. It looks like it's pretty okay. So really want to try that to see how well it works. For contour, as usual, my stealer, I have it here, but I also have this e.l.f. blush and bronzer in Antigua. So this is what it looks like. So this is going to work as bronzer and blush. I'm trying it out so I can take it on vacation with me. And just to make sure that it's going to work, the contour is going to work for me and all of that. I'm not wearing it today, actually. Um, pulled out this Love um, Crush blush from Beauty Treats. Was going through my collection, realized I had it and didn't use it in such a long time. So also have this Tarte blush in Tangful, very gorgeous but it's a little more peachy so I don't know how how much I will be using this and I think I'm gonna take this on vacation with me also so I wanted to try it out to see what you know if it's gonna last for my long days so if I go on vacation it will work I also have my elf blush in rose blush and I think this is what I used today? No, I actually used the Antigua, the blush in Antigua today. So I didn't use this. And I also have my posy tint. So I have this as my base to help my, my blush last all day. And I pulled out the City Color Bronze in Sparkle. And I was really hoping that I can take that on vacation. But it's just so bulky that I doubt. And I may just take my Enchanted, which is a big um, highlighter. Or if not, I'll just take one of my big blushes. But I really want to take that or my, um, what you call it, the one from Clean Color that I absolutely love. But then again, that one is also huge. For eyeshadows, I um, have my basket here for eyeshadows. This is going to be a bit. Uh, no, well, actually, it's just some palettes that have quite a few colors. But for primers, I'm actually trying all these two so I can know which one to take on vacation. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Lip Primer. I actually used it today. This is a little dry consistency, or maybe I had it so long I dried out. I'm not sure, but I also have my NARS Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eye Base, which I'm going to try tomorrow. However, just because I dropped it in my uh, makeup basket, the packaging is starting to feel a bit tacky. Um, the cover is getting dirty already, so I already don't like that. For base, I have two will be my Maybelline tattoo in ink and pink because I have like base in your shadows that I have and then I have toughest toughest taupe which is really what I have on my lid I have my like two this is imitation naked two palette and it is really what I am wear using and because you have some of these golden colors I thought I will just pull the ink and pink so this is one palette then I have this other one from city color that says smoky natural bronzy look so I thought this would be okay because this week is just long days of work and I wanted work friendly and then I have so many blushes here so that's why I didn't see a lot of blushes in that section so I think I'm gonna be like using these here more or maybe just so I can try a neutral smoky but these are why I chose stuff as top 
and then I have my like naked palette is again not a real thing and I absolutely love this and you have some of these colors that will look gorgeous with um, inked and pink or coming down here the toughest taupe will actually make these look a little more taupe so because of that I just decided to choose those um, eyeliners I don't have it here but it's my mark um, the one from MAC that I'm just using I have it on my waterline I'm just trying to use it up because I've had it a while and um, it's not retractable I'm taking it on vacation it's um it's retractable sorry not sharp and I think most of my pencils that I will be using would be that but I really forgot to bring it I have just one here and this is my star looks that I got in last month's Ipsy in Topaz which is just a silver my intention maybe to even use this as a base so I will see if not it will it's just too shimmery I think for my waterline I don't know if I'll use it don't know what I think of these as yet because I haven't really been using any of my star looks so that's it for liners and mascara primer I, I wear, definitely wear this but this is coming down to the end really coming down to the end Ugh. And for mascaras, I have three here. Um, my NYC Big Bowl Curl. Have a review on this. So it's around. Then I have this Smashbox Hyper Shine Mascara. And I must say, this is very separating and lengthening. I actually like it because it's separated my lashes. I place this What's Your Type from the Balm. And um, I don't like this. It's clumpy, even though the, br the brush is tiny, which I thought would have made it really easy for me to apply and get it was just making my lashes really clumpy and messy and all of that and even though I was trying to get close to the um, bruising lashes it was crazy so I didn't really like that at all and so I had to end up using this one to separate it out so that's pretty much it for eyes and lips I not much because it's just gonna be long days and I just wanted to throw these in my bag I have my I love winter from Mac here and my NYX um, castle which I absolutely love I am wearing it and I think this will be my go-to mainly for this week I try I may have one or two bright colored ones that I will just pop in for maybe if I do videos for you guys or anything after my long day so yeah if you see that and I look tired it's because of that my next gloss going in my bag also again and I pulled out this um, aqua lacquer pop beauty in flower and fuchsia but it looks like a clay gloss that you could just apply so I thought okay I'll just have these three in my bag and try to use them up um, this week because I have actually gone in my makeup bag and pulled you know my travel bag and pulled out my lipsticks that are in there because you've just been there whole year kind of thing and I'm just sorting out what I'm taking to travel what I'm keeping with me so you know all of that so if you want what's in my bag I'll have to do a new one I got a request like three or four times for that um, I'll definitely do that in the new year because this week is crazy and it's just gonna be me putting in stuff to have my eyes last all day <laughs> and my face last all day now my eyes and my lips and everything to touch up and in addition to that I would also be um I was trying to use certain products and not wanting a whole variety and having a heavy bag kind of thing. So that's pretty much it um, for this week's basket. Um, review on anything, let me know. I am putting using these two palettes to see if I really want to take them on vacation with me or if I want to do the reveal palette, which I have a review coming up. Um, check out my whole video if you have not checked it out as yet. But I have a video with swatches and all that. So stay tuned for that. And thanks so much. Until next week's basket. Bye.